G'day guys, I've just been cleaning my sink and that reminded me I should actually talk about stainless steel passivation. So stainless steel is stainless because it forms a little passive protective layer of chromium oxide around the steel, which keeps all the nasties out. Sometimes that layer can get damaged, so I've got this old bolt here. So that's a non-stainless concrete screw on a stainless hanger. And you can see that this hanger have all this kind of iron contamination on there. And if left for a long time, that iron contamination can actually get into the bulk of the steel and eat it away. And then you end up with a, believe it or not, rusted stainless steel hanger. But luckily I've been cleaning my sink with this stuff. So this is Barkeeper's Friend. It's really good for, you know, cleaning stuff. But the magic ingredient is it is citric acid. So this is citric acid powder with some like gypsum or some abrasive stuff in there. But citric acid can be used to passivate stainless steel. So in here, I've just got a whole bunch of Barkeeper's Friend. It's white because it's got this powder stuff in it too. And I'm just gonna leave that in there for a few minutes. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. And how does it look? Gotten rid of it, most of it already, even where the mild steel has smushed into the uh, stainless, that's looking pretty good. And on the back, yeah, okay, all that superficial stuff has gone too. So that's looking pretty good. Now that has gotten that iron contamination out and it has also refreshed the passivation layer. So that should be good and stainless again. So if you've got some stainless bolts with like little rusty spots on them, you may want to do something like this, especially if there may be glue in bolts that have been hit in with a hammer for some reason. You might want to just grab something like this, rub a little bit on there for a few minutes, and then hopefully that'll refresh the corrosion resistance and give them another few years of life uh, because you know that kind of thing especially you can't replace it easily and obviously this works with anything you know stainless steel sinks pots brewing equipment anything like that and stainless steel is self-passivating just in air but you know sometimes stuff can interfere with that so it is good to know how to uh how to prevent that as well anyway scratches later